What's going on, people? This is Shooter here, bringing you another episode of Marvel Madness. The reason I called it that was because that was the only thing I'd come up with. But uh, another reason is because Marvel is so epic and so big that nothing I really can do can really teach you how to draw it. But I can show you how I do it and uh, the how... Uh, how mad it makes me sometimes when I'm drawing these characters because they're so good uh, at what they do and um, how they do it. I'm not saying DC is not as good. I'm just saying Marvel is just uh, some of the greatest drawings I've ever, and some of the greatest characters, period, when it comes to writing and everything like that. Um, I love Batman. I love DC. I love... Um, Dark Horse and all that other stuff, but I'm just saying Marvel is just one of my favorite companies um, to actually read and follow uh, 100% of the time. There's some things on DC that I don't really um, agree with, um, but I do enjoy watching them and I do enjoy reading about them. Um, but this is actually my first and only Hulk drawing. I have never drawn Hulk before. I've never had any interest to draw Hulk before. I've never really liked the Hulk before. Um, I've always thought he was just mindless. Um, you know, do whatever he wants to do. And everybody liked him just because he was so powerful. And really, they made him uber powerful where he could be, you know, beat anything anyone as long as he got mad. You know, I never really liked him that way. Um, but then, <laughs> then I read Planet Hulk. Planet Hulk was, is one of my favorites, um, to date about pretty much any Marvel comic period. Um, why? It's such a drastic shift from the normal, um, stuff they put out. Hulk was a mindless bashing machine that just wrecked everything. Um, and what they did with Planet Hulk was just make him uh, a lovable character, a lovable uh, character that you can uh, get in touch with, be a part of the story with him. As you read along, you start understanding why it is and what it is he does and the reason why he's so angry is because he's so afraid, and all this other stuff that that goes on in in, in that um, series is so powerful, uh, so cool to to see one of your characters that you actually never did like um, start growing on you. Uh, the only reason I picked it up was because someone recommended it and uh, said it was an amazing book, and they were right. Um, so I thought this is actually. Um, the uh, part two of the drawing that I did uh, in pencil before. Um, the reason I'm doing uh, more of an in-depth um, about this drawing was because I didn't really get into it last time. I got into pretty much how to draw it, um, but not really why I drew it. And, and that's really what a lot of things I feel like, in my opinion, get you to draw, is uh, the reasons why, you know. You watch a cartoon, a manga, an anime, um, you know, you read a comic, whatever the case may be, it encourages you or it makes you want to draw that because it's either that good or, you know, you don't just one day think you're an artist. You read something, you watch something, and you're like, wow, that's so cool. I want to do that. I want to draw that. That is what gets you to draw. So that's what really got me to do this and to kind of step out of my box. A little bit um, because Hulk is so massive I never really felt comfortable uh, drawing him is because he he was actually pretty difficult pretty easy to draw but at my mindset was he was pretty difficult to draw um, and uh, I enjoyed doing this this ink was a full ink I, I did this is one of my first inking besides an abstract art paint that I did with ink um, this is my first full inked page um, I did it completely from looking at the reference in Planet Hulk on it's a variant cover of number 92. So if you want to look that up and show it and see if it looked any different, give me a comment on how it looks like. 
you can do that. <clears throat> um, I really don't know too much about inking. All I know is that um, about shading and about light sources and about where the light should be, where the shadow should be. And uh, so what I do is kind of follow the, the drawing, obviously, the, the picture that I have uh, set in front of me. But I also try to mimic the what's supposed to happen, where the light's supposed to be hitting, why the light is supposed to be hitting this, you know, because of where the light source is coming. Um, and with ink, it's the same thing with, with everything else. Um, I really didn't, I really don't know how to do a lot of uh, tricky stuff with, uh, you know, uh, ink yet. You know, like some blurs, I don't know how to do some, uh, there's multiple shading on this actual piece of uh, drawing that I did, but I could only do one, and that was the, 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 the major shadow, the one that was darkest, because it was ink. Um, and if you guys know how to do ink better than me, hey, give me some pointers. Uh, I would love it. I enjoy um, meeting new people. I enjoy uh, people telling me how to draw. A lot of people say, you enjoy people telling you how to draw? Yeah, I do. Um, why? Because it gets me better. Even if you don't know how to draw and you have an, op an, an opinion on my art, that gives me motivation to say, okay, at least he has an opinion, good or bad, and he's looking at it. Okay, so I need to change it for this type of person uh, to get better for that genre. And, uh, you know, I... Uh, I enjoy that, and if you don't, then you know, to each his own. But I do. I enjoy if it's bad critiques, good critiques, whatever the case may be. Um, I enjoy them. I enjoy talking with people about art. I enjoy talking to people about comic books. I enjoy a lot of things. I just enjoy life. Um, so, getting back to the drawing and and, and this. This drawing was pretty challenging at the end. Him, him, him itself, the drawing itself was actually not as challenging um, as the inking and as the the just the tedious stuff you have to worry about uh, in inking and uh, you know where the lines are at and you know how to to make this look better than what it is to tighten up each line. Uh, to go in and 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 change and go into the background and make sure that that's all inked and uh, make sure that every piece in the uh, every asteroid is saw it, it was it was very tedious it took me about an hour and 30 minutes to probably two hours I would say about an hour and 30 minutes to uh, get this dr uh, completely drawn inked um, and uh, pretty much finished art. Um, I did afterwards mess with it a little bit more. You can see that on my Deviant art page if you want to. Um, I put some, I'm still trying to learn this whole highlight thing and everything too. So I'm trying to put some, I'm trying to work with some watercolor uh, white. I worked with uh, some um, white out. Um, I was trying to get a um, trying to get it to make it look finished and it, it looks good but I kind of messed it up with a little bit a little bit of the paint um, but this was fun this this right here going in and making sure all the detail the more I the more detail I put in it the more proud of the drawing I got the more amazed about I was actually drawing this and um, I was actually getting very excited as I drew this and, and to say the least I was very happy that I drew this drawing because I was I was blown away by the what I was drawing and um, I, I I see the growth um, the small growth that I said just by starting this channel and drawing all this time to get these videos out I saw it finally so um, this video is probably wrapping up right now um, I go in and I make some final changes but for the most part if you like this video Hit a like it, subscribe it, comment. Peace out!